there are three types of supplements that people will bring to my office for my opinion on. And I'm gonna share some information about that with you. Hey, I'm Dr. Patty Barch. I'm a traditional naturopath, founder and owner of Naturally Unbridled Wellness and NaturallyUnbridled.com, where we focus on wellness solutions, not disease management. This is Down the Ridge with Dr. Patty, where I give you seven to 10 minutes of holistic life and wellness information on my way to work or on my way to the gym, as it is today. Uh, This is not medical advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. Nothing I say is true. Do not listen to me. So people will um, often when they come in, especially for an initial consultation, they want to know about the supplements that they've already purchased. Um, First of all, high praise for wanting to take supplements. High praise, (coughs) excuse me, for knowing that your body needs support above and beyond what we get from our food and our environment, etc. So I commend anybody who is like, I should be taking a multivitamin or I read something about fish oil and I should probably take that and I'm hearing magnesium can be helpful. Great, great. Um, However, not all supplements are created equal. And I've had clients tell me that their medical doctors have said to them, if you want to waste your money on supplements, go ahead. But buy the cheapest ones you can because they're all the same. And I can't think of a more ignorant statement. That's completely untrue. So there are three um, types of supplements that people will bring into my office. And I categorize them after you know looking at the labels, etc. One is, this is good, keep taking this. The second one is, "Mm, finish it, but don't buy it again. And the third one is, I would never put this in my body. And sadly, there are more, I would never put this in my body supplements available than either finish it, but don't refill it again, or this is great. Keep taking it. So, um, what makes some supplements crappy supplements? Well, first of all, like if you're buying it at the local pharmacy or big box store, like when people buy the 500 fish oil capsules for $6.99 or whatever at Sam's Club, I'm like, oh my God, really those can do more harm than good. They can create, you, people take them for their anti-inflammatory properties, but um, the quality of these fish oil supplements can be so low and so contaminated that it actually is more harmful to take it than not to take it. Um, the other thing is uh, I'll look at the, the marketing can be amazing because, you know, the nature made people think that's a great, you know, oh, it's nature made great branding. The person who came up with that label, that name, they should get a nice bonus because people believe that it's natural and that it's good for you. And it isn't. Um, they use a lot of chemically synthesized, um, vitamins that sometimes are extracted from like other industries, like the metal smelting industry. Um, you know, these things are toxic. Sometimes like the the finish it, but don't, um, buy it again. This can sometimes be something like, well, it's not a very bioavailable form of the vitamin or this vitamin, like for example, vitamin D, um, works best when partnered with vitamin K, but, um, you know, a lot of doctors don't realize that if they will go so far as to do a vitamin D test and realize that the person is far below the range, they'll recommend massive doses of vitamin D without the vitamin K, which can cause some detrimental effects. Um, the other thing, so there are, uh, versions of the nutrients that they can put on the label And they'll say, oh, there's so many milligrams 
or international units or you know whatever of this particular nutrient but because it's not a bioavailable form of the nutrient you don't actually get that it just takes a ride through your digestive system and fundamentally acts like a toxin in your body that your body has to expend energy to excrete so more harm than good the other thing that drives me a little crazy is some of the gummy vitamins. There have been some companies given like gummies a nod and um, we brought in a few. They leave a little to be desired. Um, but you know, when I see the gummy prenatal vitamins, I'm, they're like totally cringeworthy. They've got the wrong form of um, B vitamins in there and they're just kind of a mess and you know you shouldn't screw around with prenatal vitamins like if there's one time in your life you're going to take the highest quality supplement you can you can get your hands on it should be the prenatals um, the other thing is the multi-level marketing companies now I'm not putting them all in the same category because I do know that there are some multi-level marketing or direct sales companies that have some pretty good products. And then there are some that market themselves as wellness companies and they brag about having medical doctors on their board, which, you know, to me doesn't mean a thing because most of these medical doctors have never had a nutrition class and I'm not exaggerating. Um, these companies can often put anti-nutrients in their products. So they've got artificial colors, flavors, um, they're creating stimulant drinks. They hide their freaking ingredients 12 freaking clicks away on their website. I'm thinking if you're a nutrition company, you should proudly throw those labels out there so that people can see them. I mean, if this is what you're making, then that should be right out there front and center and you should be standing there with this big proud smile on your face that you've made such an amazing product. But no, you come up with a fun name and some bullets for how wonderful it is and then you make me click, 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 click to finally find the ingredients list. And usually once I find it, I see why. Um, and there are, I have seen this, there are some multi-level marketing or direct sales companies that have some really good products and some really horrible products. So you can't just say like that this one company, because they have this one really amazing probiotic or whatever, that everything else in their line is good because I haven't found that to be the case. Sometimes people will like email me like, hey, can you tell me what you think of this supplement? The answer is no. No, I can't. Um, I do not have time to go vet all of these other um, companies. There have been times where I've had to look at that because the client's having a problem and I want to see if perhaps a crappy supplement might be leading to that problem or making it worse or certainly not making it better. But um, I do not spend my time vetting other companies. The companies that I carry their supplements it is because I have fully vetted these companies. I know that they have third party quality testing. I have experienced them refusing to release a batch of supplements um, because they're not satisfied with the quality control, okay? So um, I'm not saying like, oh, buy all your supplements for me, but buy them from reputable sources. In general, people in the wellness industry are putting their name and face on um, high quality supplements. That being said, I do know there's a local chiropractor that um, clients will bring in the vitamin D that they get from that office and it doesn't have vitamin K in it. And I, I don't understand why this well-educated person is um, selling their patients vitamin D without vitamin K. So um, in general, people in the wellness profession are doing a better job making sure that the quality of the nutritional supplements, herbs, remedies, that sort of thing, that these are the highest quality so that you get the most benefit and that you're not getting detrimental um, effects that can happen with lower quality products. 
So um, read labels and do some research. You can ask questions in the comments, but again, I'm not going down rabbit holes looking at um, uh, nutrition labels and giving you my vote or not. Okay, peace out peeps, have a healthy day.